Hey, welcome to Color Up. I know many players like these type of strategies where you only have your money at risk for one roll. After that roll, you regress down and then your bets are nearly or paid for it. And then from there on, you can have a profit. So you only have risk for one roll. If this is the type of strategy that interests you, then you wanna stick around for this one. The strategy is part of my Dice Advice series where viewers submit them in and I test them out. So this one was sent to me by MNJ Poodles and he calls this the one and done. Now he plays this on a $10 table because that's what he's gonna regress down to, but his starting amount is $268. So you do have to risk $268 per shooter, but it's for only one roll. So what that looks like is 35, 45, 54. So 35, 45, 54. $268 across. Every single one of these numbers pay the exact same. They all pay $63. So $50, $63. Now you'd be better off if these were buy bets, they'd pay a little more, but we're not even gonna worry about that. We'll just leave them as place bets because it makes it simple. Everything pays $63. The nice thing about that is then you can regress down to a real common number. So you, then you just tell the dealer, hey, I wanna regress down to 64 across, which is $10 units on everything, and then $12 on the six and eight. So you've got 64 at risk, you have 63 in profit. So basically you'll have bets on all the numbers for just $1 at risk. So avoid that seven for just one roll and you'll be in pretty good shape. Now what you do from here is whatever you want. You can just collect, you can press. Now he said he prefers to power press each number and then collect. So, which is fine because really you only have $1 risk. So might as well hope for a decent roll where you can roll some numbers and press them up and then collect and see where we stand. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, we're going to play this with $1,500, really with 268 across. That's only gonna give you enough for about five shooters. So, you know, you're gonna to have to hit early to be okay. You know, I like, I usually suggest enough for 10 shooters to get through the ups and downs of the game. But we're gonna try it with $1,500, and I don't even know if we'll run through all that, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Now we're gonna assume someone else is rolling the dice, so we don't have to do a pass line. We're gonna get a point established and then we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and set a point, make our bets and all we have to avoid is that point seven out. Six, six is gonna be our point. So we'll mark the six and then let's pull out, uh, oh, we'll use our blacks, $275. Now you're gonna to have to communicate to the dealer. I want 268 across with $35, $45, $54. So 268 from 275, that is going to be $7 and change. And then we can just get this set up. Uh, got two green, two green, one, one. Got uh, two red, four red, four red, two red, and we got some whites, $4 in white, so 54. 45, 35, again, because that all pays 63. All right, here we go. One roll, one and done. Eight, hard, there we go. We're in great shape, that's all it takes. So again, our bet is going to pay 63. Dealer, take me down to 64 across, so he can just take all these red here, take one of these piles of white, stack up the rest, and send it out to you as a player. So we'll kind of clean this up a little bit here. And we are rolling basically with $1 risk, but we got all the numbers covered. There's a green here in here. So I should go out to the player. And again, from here, you can do whatever you want. I'm going to power press as he suggests what he likes to do, but you can do whatever you want. We're gonna power press each hit and then try to collect. So let's see if we can roll some numbers. Five, fever five. All right, 10's gonna pay 14. We're gonna throw in $1. It's gonna take us up to a $25 bet. And the next one we'll just collect on. All right, looking for the five, we'll take anything. Not gonna happen, so there's the seven. 
So we were in it for a dollar. We actually power pressed. We lost two dollars, but uh, hey, not too bad of a shape there. We had a chance. All right, puck will go off. Let's go ahead and have a new shooter. See what happens this time. Get a point established. Again, we're assuming someone else is rolling, so we don't have to make a line bet. Point's going to be four. And again, we'll throw out $275 to the dealer. Dealer, we want $268 across, which means $7 and change. And we can get set up. Two, two, one. Okay, now we just have to avoid the old dreaded 0.7 out, PSO. All right, here we go, can we do it? Just one roll, six, easy six. We've done it. All right, all the bets, it doesn't matter which one, they're all gonna pay the same, so 63. Dealer, take me down to 64. So we'll take all the red, one stack of white. Stack up the rest and send it back out to the player. Put that black aside there. Pull out this red. I'm trying to keep this as clean as I can here. It's making it easier for me later on. And we have enough here. The dealer can just set you up. $12 bets. Now let's roll, see if we can roll some numbers. Here we go. <laughs> no, seven. All right, so again, we lost $1 this time. All right, so these bets are gonna come down. Maybe this video is gonna be about me taking bets up and down. Hopefully not. Hopefully we're gonna roll some numbers here. All right, let's get a new shooter going. Point established, six, easy six. Maybe all the sevens are all out of the way. So 100, 200, 75 to the dealer. We're going to get seven and change. And that'll be just enough to get our bet set up here. Two, there we go. Four, four, two, and I need some whites here. Four, four. We're set up, grab some red. And ready to go, here we go. Just one and done, avoid the number eight. There we go, we did it again, we avoided it. So that's all you have to do. So you do that, you get paid 63, dealer take me down to 64. Russ goes out to the player. rack. Let's get set up here again and hopefully we can get on a little roll. All right, shooter, here we go. Let's roll some numbers. Five. We haven't pressed up and actually made any profit, but we haven't really been hurt much either. So, all right, five, 10 is going to pay 14. We throw in a dollar dealer, make it a $25 bet. So the next one we'll collect. Need a five, but we'll take any number, just as long as we're rolling numbers. There's the nine, sister number. Um, I think my dice rolled there at the end. So again, we're just gonna throw in a dollar, get paid 14, and we're gonna bump that up to a $25 bet. And here we go. Ah, there's the seven. All right, so we're pressing them up. We could, you could be collecting there, getting some profit, but we're trying to get a little more profit just because we have such little at risk. So we lost a dollar, we threw in two more, so we lost three dollars on that shooter. So really at this point, we're just spinning our wheels. Now the bad thing is gonna be if we do roll that seven, but it hasn't hurt us yet. All right, we'll give us another try. These are very short rolls. I'm guessing the standard is not doing too hot. 
We'll try this a couple more times though. All right, let's get a point established first and then we'll go from there. Five, five is gonna be our point. So let's go ahead and 100, 200, and 75. So that'll be seven and change. And then we can get set up here. And yeah, we're good to go. Now we just need to avoid that one number, but any box number will do. Dice off the table, no roll. You guys worried about that? We haven't seen a horn number yet either. All right, here we go. Six the hard way. Dice going off the table didn't hurt. So it's gonna pay 63. Dealer, take me down. 54, cross. Just gonna set that out there for for now. All right, can we actually make some profit from the strategy? Here we go. <laughs> Seven. No, we cannot. All right, all right, all right. You guys are watching me practice dealing. I guess that's the name of the game today. All right, puck is gonna go off, and sometimes you're gonna have rolls like this. Um, but as long as you can avoid that roll on the second roll of the shooter, then, you know, no big deal. But at, th at this rate, if we lose that 268, it's going to take us a while to recoup it. Well, it'll just take us one, one okay roll would actually get us back. But uh, let's see. I don't know how much time we've been. We'll, we'll keep going. We haven't been hurt. We haven't made any money. We'll just keep it going a little bit. Eight. So again, let's pull it out. 275. Get seven and change. Pull out these ones. And let's go ahead and get set up here. Probably one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we don't need the greens yet. All right, here we go. Let's roll a number. Nine. Center field nine. All right. You know what it pays? 63. So 45 is going to pay 63 here. And dealer, take me down. 64 across. Okay, he's going to take all the reds. The rest we can stack up. Send out to the player. And we set up here. I'm trying to go quick. And I know a lot of, I don't want to, you know, some channels I've watched kind of leave their bets up and just replace them. But there's a lot of new view, uh, players that see my show. And I think it's important to see how the money goes up and down. I know it adds a little bit of length to my video, but uh, I think it's important to show the stuff coming down. All right, 10. All right, 10 is going to pay 18. And with those really power press, you could throw in money, but I think you're good enough just to take it to a quarter. And we'll buy it at the quarter and just collect $3 there. So, hey, look for this particular shooter. We got a profit, <laughs> $2 profit, but we want to roll a 10 again, but we'll take any of these other numbers. Hey, there's that 10. So 25 is going to pay 50 for one, and we're finally going to collect. Look at that. We got some profit, and probably we're profit overall now across all those shooters because we've only been losing a buck or so here and there. But uh, let's keep this going. Let's, let's win some money. Six, easy six. So 12 is going to pay 14. We're, we're going to power press $4, so we'll throw in $4. And that'll be enough to take us up to a $30 bet. 
All right, we're looking for that six or 10 shooter. Yo, 11, I think that's our first horn number. Three crepes. See a horn, bet a horn. So they say, there's another horn. Three, East Deuce. Nine, all right, there's a new number. All right, 10's gonna pay 14. We're gonna throw in $1, 14 plus 10, $25 bet. So we press that up, we'd love to hit it. Pay 35 if we do. And here we go. Five, all right, the other side. Again, 10 pays 14, we're gonna throw in a dollar. That is enough to make this a $25 bet. And actually, my bank doesn't have any more green, so I'm gonna to have to buy. So I'm gonna take 500 in black and buy these green chips from the player here. Just so we can turn this into a green bet. All right, we're pressing them up, but we gotta hit them to be making money. So here we go. Let's roll a repeat number for us. Six hard, there we go. All right, 30 is gonna pay 35. We're finally gonna take a little more profit. So if we want on the next hit on the six or 10, we could uh, press those guys up again. Uh, five and nine, we're gonna collect though. All right, here we go. You can kind of alternate however you want. All right, there's that nine. So we're gonna collect again. So 25 will pay 35. Starting to make a little money, a little dent. Here we go. Six hard, six hard. All right, 30 is gonna pay 35. This time we'll just take this up to a $60 bet. Rack in five. All right, here we go. Five, I think we haven't collected off that one, so we'll go ahead and collect. Even if we're mistaken, it never hurts to collect. Right, again, running out of room. So I think we're pressing on everything except for the six. If we roll a six, we'll collect that $70. But hey, there's that six, speaking of the six. So 60 is going to pay 70. There we go, and we'll just rack that up. Let's see if we can keep this going. Here we go. Six, now this is the tempting part. So 60 is going to pay 70. Do we power press or do we collect? I mean, really, you want to think the six is coming? Press it. Uh, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to actually take our third or eight up to $30. And so it's kind of in the middle. We're going to collect some and press some. So now I've really lost track of what I've collected and pressed on, but we're okay. Just make it up as we go along here. 12. Five is gonna drop, they're gonna call it a five. So 25 will pay 35. Let's go ahead and press that guy, collect 10. All right, we need a bigger rail over there. Not that we've won a whole bunch of money, but uh, all right, 10 hard. So 25 is going to pay 50 for a dollar VIG. Did I take the VIG last time? I don't remember if I did. I'm gonna take it just for the last one, just in case I didn't. And what do we do here? We could press it all the way up to 75. Let's um, take one, give one, right? Let's take it up to $50 and collect 25. All right, this is the kind of roll we're looking for. Just staying, oh, there's that seven. That's okay though. So these are gonna come down. Puck will come off. And so we had a decent, a good roll and we have a few bad rolls. Let's do one more. I was thinking of just walking away right there with a good profit, but uh, let's see, we'll, we'll risk fate one more time and see if it bites us. All right, let's get a point established. Eight, eight easy, eight's gonna be our point. So here's where we have to reach in. So one, $275, dealer, we want 268 across which is gonna be seven and change. Oh, that was only six, there's seven. Oh, I gotta get some more red here. 
four chips. This feels light. Yep, four chips. So again, 54, 45, 35. We've got to avoid bad number for one roll, one roll only. Nine, and we did it. So that's great. All these bets are going to pay 63. Dealer, take me down to 64 across. Now I only have $1 at risk. Oh, got a greens in there. So we got some great bets here. $1 at risk for the shooter. 7.7 7 out, never really burn us. So now let's see if we can roll some numbers again and make up some more profit. Six easy six. 10 is going to pay 14. We're going to throw in $4 here and that'll be enough to take us up to a $30 bet. So now we're into it, the shooter for $3, right? That's okay. Yo, 11, pretty minimal risk. Eight, easy eight, that's our point hit. I think that's our first point. So again, 12, we're gonna pay 14. We're gonna throw in four. That's gonna be enough for a $30 bet. Puck is gonna go off though. Puck's off, our bets are off by default. You could override it, but I'm not going to. Six, easy. We're out on the point of six. Now let's roll some numbers. Six and eight would be great. There's the eight, so we're going to get paid. Got some profit, all right? So 30 is going to pay 35, and we're just going to collect. Next time we'll press it. Ten down there on the end. All right, first hit, ten is going to pay 18 as a place bet. And we'll just keep uh, $3 and make it look like $25 buy bet. All right, here we go. Eight. All right, what did we do last time? So we're gonna win 35. I don't think we've collected off it yet, right? So we'll just collect or do we press? I don't remember. Again, you lose track, just collect. Why not? It's money in your pocket. Pressing's nice, but you gotta hit the number again. So Collecting, uh, you know, what do they say? Bird in the hand is worth two in the bush or something like that. Well, look, there's that eight and we should have uh, pressed it. All right. Well, you know, hindsight, right? All right, it's going to pay 35. We're going to go ahead and press it this time to 60 and see what happens. All right, here we go. That's gambling for you. Nine. All right, first time hitting the nine. So 10, we'll pay 14. Let's throw in a dollar. 14 plus 10 is... $25 bet. So we got it power pressed. Now we're going to collect on the next one. If we can roll a nine again. Four, hard four. Again, 10. We'll pay 18. And we'll just make that a $25 buy bet and collect a couple pennies. All right, here we go. Let's keep this roll going. Eight, easy. Eight, there we go. $60 bet is going to pay 70. We're collecting this time. Very cool. All right, here we go. 10. 10 the easy way. So 25 will pay 50 for a $1 VIG. We're going to collect that one. Let's keep this roll going. Oh, loving it. Five. 10 is going to pay 14. We're going to throw in $1. Makes it 25 bet. There's that 10, nice. So 25 is gonna pay 50. We gotta throw in a dollar for the VIG. And this time let's go ahead and keep 25. That's what's nice about the four and 10. You could, pr you could press it, double it. Press means double and still pull off half the amount. So that's pretty cool. All right, here we go. There's that seven. All right, but I think we won some money off that shooter. So we're happy about that roll. Again, really, after the second roll, you're in the clear. Anything will make you happy. All right, 
we're gonna count it up, see where we stand. Got a lot of chips to count here, but that's okay. Just bear with me. Um, I'm gonna kind of do a little shortcut here. We know that Iraq is 500. So there's a thousand. There's 1,500, so there's our buy-in. Now we'll count up our profit here. So we've got 100, 200, 250. Um, yeah, that's fine. 275, 300. We know a stack is 100. So 300, 400, we got some red here, not quite a stack. So 25, 50, 75. Uh, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. 105. 110, 115, 116. So 1,500, 16, 17, 18, 19, 2,000, and $16. So we're up uh, $516, and then I'm gonna run through, I'll show you um, what the standard did, and I gotta give a shout out to Edgy. I'm gonna run through this real quick and uh, he built me a custom spreadsheet that I can just input the numbers and it spits out my numbers for me. So thank you to Edgy. And uh, there we go. That is the one and done. These strategy, type of strategies are great as long as you can avoid the seven on that one specific roll of the dice, right? So you start big, big risk up front, but you know, if you can avoid it, it works out. So however you like to play, until next time, good luck on Coloring Up.